Hey there, this is Seth Schaefer from Team Just Cause Robotics, and today's video was highly requested how to repair all of your equipment for the pits at an event. Without further ado, let's get into it. Essential tools. This should be anything you need to work on your robot, including but not limited to every screwdriver and driver attachment for each and every screw on your bot. A hex key set. If you're using Phillips or flathead screws, deep down you've already lost. An adjustable crescent wrench as backup in case you lose the main wrench or socket. A hammer which really helps when you're pressing tight fitting things or straightening something that got bent. Spare screws and hardware. Loctite. A basic drill and drill bit set. See nice to haves for better options. Decent metal file and sandpaper and safety glasses. A charger or power bank for your phone or laptop, etc. Water and snacks, if not provided at the event. Necessary electrical tools. A lipo charger. A lipo safe bag or fireproof bag. Spare AA batteries for transmitter. Soldering iron. Quality counts. With solder, a stand or rest, and sponge. Flux. A multimeter, which helps diagnose many problems. Spare connectors of every size on the robot. Spare wires of every size on the robot. Hot glue gun, an awesome insulator and quick fix. Electrical tape, duct tape works in a pinch. Heat shrink kit, lighter or heat gun. A wire stripper, flush cutters or wire cutters. A power extension cord or power strip. Cordless drill or driver with adjustable clutch. I like having one as a driver because it's slower and more precise and less effort to hold for long periods. Plus I always have the ready hex bits. Make certain it has a clutch and is variable speed. The clutch is necessary to set it and forget it. Carrying around bits is way more compact than individual screwdrivers. You can buy a single high quality bit set for everything. A quick change magnetic extension is also a godsend for using the above. A dead blow hammer is great when you need to drive something but not break it. Good for bearing fits and tight press fits. Magnetic trays are also the best to prevent losing screws. Lipo cell checker. It's great for telling if your battery was just fresh or if you just took it out of the bot, and it'll warn you if the battery was damaged or has an abnormally low cell. A laptop PC with a USB programmer for your ESCs if using BL Heli, or a USB programmer for your transmitter if you have one that supports it. Vice grips or locking pliers. Awesome weapon lock for small bots and fantastic for holding things securely. Can also be used to bend stuff more precisely than a hammer. Portable work lights or flashlight, oft overlooked but very helpful. Connector soldering jig. Helping hands for soldering or a mini vise, which is useful for soldering, bending, and more. Good quality wire strippers or even automatic wire stripper and a good dual temp mini heat gun. A socket set or torque wrench. A ratcheting screwdriver or double drive screwdriver. A multi-tool that can be useful in a pinch when you can't find what you need. Regular pocket knife. Magnetic pickup tool to help when dropping screws. Hacksaw for metal, or a wood saw for plastic and wood. Something to prop up the bot for a wheels up test. And zip ties. How to travel and organize. Compartment boxes and cases. A label maker is also awesome. These are great to sort out hardware like nuts, screws, etc. and the different parts that you need as spares that are miscellaneous. Having a separate box for each robot helps me know where to look for each of the relevant spares in a pinch. I also like to label bags and try to keep parts that were painted from scraping each other. One main toolbox helps keep things contained and easy to pick up. Bubble wrap and closed cell foam packing are great for shock mounting things inside the robot and to prevent damage during travel. Don't use styrofoam, it's messy and terrible. Keep your transmitters in their original box if you have room, since those are fragile. Dolly or wheeled cart or trunk. Several events have a bit of a hike from the car to the pits, Motorama especially. Make sure you can get everything that you brought in one trip, ideally. 
One big trunk really helps here, plus bungee cables or ratchet straps to stack everything else on top of the cart. Plus, leave a comment for anything else you think of. Don't forget, down in the description you'll find a link to the document I used to create this video, as well as a checklist you can print out to bring to all of your events. Hopefully you can forgive the lack of fancy editing on this video, but there was a lot to cram into such a short piece. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching!